With the SEAL and Marine face a preliminary hearing here at Naval Station Norfolk. The hearing will help determine whether or not there's enough evidence for the case to move forward. Courtroom testimony indicates this Navy SEAL, Tony Didoff, is the one who put Army Green Beret Logan Melger in a chokehold during a hazing incident. Melger died during the incident in Mali in 2017. Today, Didoff and Marine Gunnery Sergeant Mario Madera Rodriguez are in court for a preliminary hearing related to their involvement in Melger's death. These are images from a sketch artist inside the courtroom. A preliminary hearing officer is helping to decide whether there's enough evidence to send the case to court martial. A Navy rear admiral will make the final decision at a later date. Two Navy SEALs and two Marines were charged for Melger's death. A SEAL and Marine have already pleaded guilty and are serving time in military prison, leaving the other two cases still pending. Inside the courtroom today, new disturbing details. Marine Private Kevin Maxwell described how the group decided to haze Melger because some of them had gotten into a dispute with him. Early in the morning of June 4, 2017, the group came up with a plan to break into Melger's room and duct tape his limbs together. Maxwell says the plan was then to pull Melger's pants down, molest him, and record it on video to humiliate him. Things, though, did not go as planned when Melger went unresponsive. Members of the group tried to save him, including cutting a hole in his throat to try and get him air, but the Green Beret died. The group has said this was all an accident and they did not intend for things to go this far, but Didoff and Rodriguez face murder charges. If the case does wind up going to trial, both Didoff and Rodriguez face the potential for life in prison without parole. We'll keep you updated on what happens. At Naval Station Norfolk, Brendan Ponson, News 3.